What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. This is Steven Turner and today we're going to talk about jig colors and water clarity. Do darker, darker jigs work better in muddy water or do brighter jigs work better? Let's find out. Y'all stay tuned. As y'all can see we got six jigs lined up today for the test. <clears throat> we have Misty Blue, Stinger, Crappy Man Jig. All these jigs are Crappy Man Jigs. If you want to order some, contact me on Instagram or Facebook. We got a Misty Blue, straight white. Those are in the little stingers. Then we've got green ice. This, this is right, more of a clear water jig. My favorite clear water color, one I personally came up with, uh, blue ice. My all like all year long color is a straight chartreuse with black and metal flakes and a black and green long tail uh, flapper little flapper is what we call these so normally if you ask anybody they're going to tell you bright colors and dirty water but it's been raining here for probably the past month not not constantly but enough to flood the rivers and get everything all muddied up you know and as i was fishing yesterday um, i'm not sure if i released that video yet or not but I was noticing if I held my jig still for four or five minutes and I put enough scent on it, eventually I would get bit. So in my head and on my graph, I knew the fish were there. Was there a color that could make them bite better? Let's find out. All right, guys. So what I got rigged up right here is just your standard loop knot, 164 ounce jig head, and a misty blue. So we're going to put the camera right here and as y'all can see in the clear water, I mean that blue is just there, it's vibrant, you know you can't mistake that jig with that loop knot is laying perfectly parallel. And if y'all wonder what it looks like when I when my jig's under the water, boom, boom. <laughs> All right, let's go to the little bit of stain. I mean, it's still there. It gets distorted just a little bit. I mean, get a little bit closer on there. But, I mean, it's really... You can still see it a little bit. I mean, the stuff on the bottom then came down a little bit, so it's not as probably like dingy as it could be, but I don't really think it would make much more difference. All right, let's head on over to the more murky water. Now this right here, I mean, that jig disappears. You can't see it at all. Except when it comes out. I forget, right here on the edge of the glass, it comes up good. But if you go right here, so in theory, if the crappy was right here, it'd be good to go. But as soon as that jig goes away, it's gone. Hopefully, we can find a color that doesn't do that. So let's go ahead and go to the next color. All right, we got the white on. So obviously in the clear water, white's going to go good. Love that tail action on the little stinker right there. All right, to the stain. About the same as blue. I mean, it gets kind of distorted. All right, now to the real murky water. Pretty much the same scenario, huh? kind of you can kind of see it i don't know if y'all can right there but like i said if you get close to the fish he's got it if he goes away it's gone let's head to the next color we're gonna do one of my one of the clear color uh clear water colors all right here we go with the green eyes 
I mean, obviously it's going to show up pretty good in the clear water. All right, a little dingy water. You can see the metal flake in it, but even in this dingy water, when you go further away back to the back of the glass, it kind of disappears. All right, now the stained water right up on the glass, kind of visible, but not even two inches back, it's gone. Not good, not good. And it's honestly gonna be the same for the blue ice because they're identical jigs it's different uh glitter so now well, let's head over to my color the chartreuse my favorite and see what it looks like so as y'all can see in this clear water really bright doing what it's supposed to do looking like a little fish swimming really ain't got much water in here to show the tail that much but i get the general guess when you you're just swimming along all right, and a little bit of stain. Kind of turns to a darker, sh Let's see if we can get it to focus right there. Kind of turns into a little bit darker green, but still visible. It's good. All right. I missed the tank. But straight in the middle. Still can't see it. Right up against the glass. You can tell it just a little bit. I don't know if y'all can catch that, but right in the center, you can actually see it moving. Barely. Now, yesterday when I was getting those bites, that's probably what was happening. They could barely see it. And when I had that scent on, they're going to rely more on the scent than anything. You've got about three or four inches to play with with this one. So let's go to the darker black and green and see if that changes anything. Black and green, these jigs are kind of old so the tail isn't working properly but still get the gist of it. Alright, let's head over to the stained. I stirred it up a little bit but against the glass going out against the glass going out you can still see it fairly well but a little bit of scent it'd be good to go i believe i stirred it up too much on that one may have to come back when it settles but the, let's try this one against the glass Kind of like the chartreuse, you can still kind of see it back there. You can definitely see something in the water. So honestly, the black and the chartreuse so far has uh, stood out just a little bit more. I'll show you all the water. But I got one more color I want to try. I'm gonna rig it up real quick just to see if I can find a more darker color. So what I picked out, I got a really hot pink little baby swimmer and a little bitty jig and crawl that's black with chartreuse tips. So I'm gonna rig those up and let's see if that makes a difference other than straight colors like natural colors and all that just a straight black or a straight pink all right here's the pink in the water and a little bit of stain still see it pretty fairly well all the way back to the back of the glass you can still see it all the way up here all right and the milky stuff, straight in the middle, to the glass, and go out. You can kind of see it, kind of like the chartreuse. So bright pink and chartreuse, you got about four or five inches in real cloudy color.
the water like this. So let's try the straight black with a little bit of chartreuse tips right here. Let's try it out. All right, straight black of chartreuse going in. Not exactly the right jig head for this, <laughs> but you get the gist of it. Let's back it up just a little bit. I think it would probably look pretty good on a Nico rig. All right. Into the little bit of stain. All the way back to the back of the glass, you can see this bait almost perfectly. All right, to the milky stuff. We're going to start at the back. To the glass. In the middle right there. You can still see the little fins, I mean the little chartreuse claws. You can see it working all the way to the back of the glass. So guys, honestly, in my opinion, the top winners are going to be the darker color with a little bit of chartreuse, which honestly, you should probably make some of those straight chartreuse, which I was getting bit on yesterday pink which i was getting bit on yesterday and you can see the black on this but if that green was that chartreuse or even that that one i believe it'd be good to go all right folks that'll do it for today's video if you haven't already check out the patreon link down below it really helps out uh trying to do this fishing thing for a living so every little bit counts and i'm also thinking about releasing uh, a lake mary spot series on patreon it will cost around 20 to 25 bucks let me know down in the comments if y'all be interested in that what i'll be doing with that is if i'm on the fish you can buy that spot and every week i'll upload uh, a graph screenshot or maybe a little video explaining how to fish the spot and i'll give you the gps coordinates for it so you can go out there and catch fish too but anyway, guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free, just like this video you just watched. I'll catch y'all next time. Yee -yee!